Artomai is a 120-acre sculpture and architecture park, uh, open to the public, uh, no charge, showing contemporary sculpture uh, and architecture. We're bringing international art and artists to the Hudson Valley to expose people to new work and new ideas, uh, to challenge our audience, um, and to enrich their lives. The wonderful thing about visiting Art of Mai is that you can do it on foot, you can do it on one of our bikes. In the winter, you can do it on skis. It's free, you can bring your dog, you can bring your kids. It's a safe environment um, to explore. In the landscape, it's very rolling, so you could kind of turn a corner and be surprised by something. It's never predictable, but it's always a pleasant surprise. It's sort of an adventure. We're constantly looking at contemporary art, what is out there. We're looking at our contemporary institutions, other sculpture parks, um, major public art initiatives in major cities, following what they're doing, and then within that, trying to find things that kind of push the boundary of what is contemporary art um, and what is art in the landscape, as well as looking at things that will really engage our audience. You know, we are in a rural area um, in upstate New York, and we are trying to find something that will connect with the people here that is diverse as people that have lived in this community for generations, as well as a lot of people coming up from urban areas like New York City who have second homes here. It's unusual in that there are pieces that you can inhabit so we have a glass house on a pond. We've got a reactor that is the house that blows in the wind and tips when the architect performs in it. We have a new piece called Zoid that's an amazing little, like an octopus with five arms that you can go into and see the park from. A huge favorite in the park, and definitely one of mine, is Tony Tassett's deer. The piece is a 20-foot long, 12-foot high fiberglass deer. And the artist is really interested in this notion of roadside attractions. And a lot of people just run up to it and get their picture taken immediately. It's a really a hot social media spot. You know, kids really get it. Kids are open, and I think they are wonderful in that they also lead their parents. We have education programming that's connected to the park, so kids are outside uh, half of, of their class engaging with the work and then coming back inside and doing projects about what they've seen. We also have international residency programs. So we bring artists, writers, musicians, dancers, architects from all over the world, and they stay here, they work, uh, they explore, they experiment, and they build community. The Charles B. Benenson Visitor Center was built in 2008, so we opened in 2008 as the first LEED certified commercial building in Columbia County. It's a special building, it's built with a lot of local materials, local um, bluestone and, and slate and mushroom wood, so there's a real tactile sense, there's horsehair under the counters that kids love to touch. The gallery shows work all year round, painting, sculpture, uh, installation. And right now we have a wonderful show of Tom Miskowski. I think if you come to Art oh My with no expectations, you're guaranteed to have an adventure. It's a place that you can come many times during the year. You're gonna see art that surprises you. Some of it is quiet, some of it is shocking, and it's always intriguing and, and interesting. It's been really exciting to see more and more people in the park. Um, very rarely, even in the depths of winter, am I ever alone out there in this park. It's just very exciting to see the community really engaging with what we're doing.